I would like to believe, honorable members of parliament, that I have been nominated here because of what I can offer. If I was nominated here to represent the Jaluos, then I would ask you not to approve my appointment. Because when I take this appointment, I come from a region right. But <laughs> if you want me to serve uh, political interest with all due respect and humility, I am the wrong person for that appointment. I would like to see Kenya as a nation. I would not like to be taken to a silo where you say, well, you represent Syria. God forbid. I'm a full-blown Kenyan, and I am serving my commander-in-chief. So it happens that my commander-in-chief belongs to a party, and we thank God for it. He thought, and he, I am sure he was aware, that I don't belong to a political party. You will find that even the Jubilee Hard Course will not deliver as much as I'm going to deliver. <laughs> I can, you can take that to the bank, because you will measure what I have given at the end of the process. I will deliver for the president as my commander-in-chief without, in, without fear or favor. And let me be judged at the end of it if I get to the job. If you are worried that I'm the type who will start listening to Paul, if I'm not listening to Jubilee politics, why do you think I will listen to the other one? I shall not listen to any politics at all. Because I, I believe even the position I'm being given requires that we remain neutral and just work and produce results. On, on the basis of that, I accepted this appointment. And I had sent those uh, feelings to the appointing authority. And he's aware. And I want to assure you that you will be shocked. There are people who are singing Jubilee all over the place. When you measure at the end of it, compare with mine and tell me whether it's sabotage. <laughs> Let us agree that a child who is alive and well at home is better than one who attempted to do the exam and died there. If it means that they have to come back to school early in the year, to start the year all over again, so be it. What do you want to do about it? Would you rather uh, allow about 20,000 to die so that uh, you open earlier? How are you going to select that 20,000 or, or, or 100,000? How are you going to select them? Because to, to us, the life of one child is more important. So rather than thinking about so much about exams and learning, teach the, teach the child what you know yourself. If you are a headsman, it may be very good if you go and show your child how to milk a cow, the way I was shown the other time. And I think this is the narrative that we must talk about. I would like, when I come to your station, you are the one to defend me. Because you can't portray me as an idiot when I am not one. <laughs> I'm not one. It is, it, it. So the person, I want to, to engage with somebody of my caliber. <laughs> not somebody who will be saying lies. And for the public, the public will think that is the, the intelligent one. And then they seem to be even more eloquent than the people that they are arguing with. So the public thinks, oh, this one, somebody mad. And since I, I'm a Surambaya, they might even think that I'm the one who, who, who started the CBC. I just came and found it. <laughs> so for the avoidance of doubt, we are going to ensure that CBC is here to stay.